Hi, Adam. Hi. Thank you I'm so good. much for doing this. I'm such a huge fan of your work and obviously of this film. Thanks. One of the best movies of all time. I, I wanted to ask you, you know, again, not only one of the best movies of all time, you have one of the best character introductions of all time. Marion's first scene, you know, from the way you say Indiana Jones to, you know, the punch and all this business with the shot glasses. I'm wondering what you remember <laughs> from, you know, putting that scene together. Was that all on the page? Was that stuff that you guys all worked out once you got in there? Some of it was on the page and some of it we worked out when we got in there. I mean, the scene on the page was a great scene. And, um, you know, little bits and pieces got added along the way. Um, you know, a lot of the things, you know, um, uh, that had to do with, you know, uh, kind of the intricacies of how they moved through the room and her kind of throwing the shot glasses. And they, a, lot, a lot of those got added because, you know, they, they you kind of have to be in the room and, and, and a lot of things that had to do with the medallion and all got kind of worked out in the, in the space. Um, but but uh, it was a wonderful scene. It was the scene that I had auditioned with. So it was, it was my entry into getting to know the character in the film was that, that scene. Well, I, you know, I also wanted to ask, there's this, there's this legend behind the scene between you and Paul Freeman, uh, where you're hiding the knife that that was improvised. So wondering, is that true? It was improvised. So I, I didn't like the scene because the scene on the page was Marion trying to seduce uh, the Belloc character. And as it was written, it seemed like she was sincerely going to seduce him and possibly sleep with him in order to, you know, get get something from him, uh, whether it was to escape or whether what. And I just thought, mm, this is not this is not good for the character or for the story. I thought this is somebody who truly loves Indiana Jones. So Paul and I talked about it, and he agreed that we could do something more interesting. And so we went to Stephen and Stephen said, okay, look, if you think you can do something more interesting, you guys go off and work on it and you show it to me. And if I think it's more interesting, we'll shoot it that way. So we, we went at lunchtime every day, we would go because the, the tent was on the right near where we were having lunch and we would just go into the tent and we would play around and improvise. And out of that came this idea that he had this liquor that was in his family and, uh, you know, that I would, unbeknownst to me, end up, I'm trying to get him drunk, but I get drunk instead, and he's fine. And uh, I realize how drunk I'm getting. And the whole thing of hiding, of putting on the dress in order to hide the knife under my clothes, we kind of came up with all of that. And we showed it to Stephen, and Stephen loved it. And he said, okay, you're right, let's do it that way. So yeah, that was, that was great. You know, that we got to have a little bit of, uh, you know, kind of that kind of creative energy, you know, put it into a scene and, and, and maybe made the film, you know, a little more interesting at times. That's incredible. You absolutely did. Uh, and again, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. Cannot stress enough how incredible this film is and how big of a fan I am of, of your Oh, work. thank you. I can't believe four minutes goes by that quickly. <laughs> I know, I know. I have so many other questions, but thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it.